Hello guys, what's going on? This is Exodus Gaming here. Today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on Click Team to show you how to load and save files. So, we're going to start out by making the menu. And we're going to. Actually, no. Yeah, let's do this. So, the red. We're going to create a red square. And put that up here. Now we're going to create another one. And it's going to be. Um, it's, this is going to be serve button. It's a bit bigger. Okay. So text font bold save. Let's not do it in that color. Save. Okay. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take a black box around the save there and we're going to get a fill tool and let's just set it in orange because that's the colour that's the colour I have selected and crop and okay so there we go got a save button a bit big but we'll we're going to clone this and we're going to go I'm going to rub all this text out, so I suggest putting this to about 50 maybe. Is that too big? No, that's about right. So we're going to rub all that out, now we're going to set that back in orange. And you're going to do text and you go to load. Okay. Okay, so we've got save and load. And then we've got this red box. And we're going to make another active and it's just going to be like that. We're going to change its movement to... Mm, what is it? Drag and drop. Okay, so up to now all we've done is we've created three actives. One's just a save button, one's a load button. Uh, then we've created a red active, just a red box. And we've created another active and we've made, changed its movement under the movement tab to drag and drop. Okay. Now we're going to go to the editor, and we're going to go new condition, um, user, mouse, um, clicks on an object of the red active, we're going to create under this, it's under this tab here, create new objects, we're going to put create object and active 4, and just, I'm just going to set to the Okay, now, th now we're going to do the loading. So we're going to do user clicks on an object, single click, save. Do the same for the load one. Okay, so this is the bit we're going to do here. So we're going to do, when you click save, you go frame, no, you don't. Oh yeah, frame position. Um, Save frame position at now this is important. Bin dollar sign bracket one bracket. And then we're gonna save it at files that you are. And then we're gonna do for the load one, frame position, load frame position, use an expression bin uh, dollar sign bracket one bracket zero again. And there we go. So this should do it. So we're gonna go file build application to my not that to my desktop and we're going to call it load and save okay so now it's up there so we're just going to bring that down here okay so this is our application so when we click into it we can save and load files here if we click on this and we'll put let's put one there and one there Let's save it, exit, load it up, so they're gone, but now when we click load, it'll bring them back. And that's basically how we do saving and loading. So now you could do this for blocks, like I did in my game announcement for 100 challenges. Um, so if we build, we, let's build like a quick house out of them or something, I don't know.
just create a bunch of these. This is a really bad house, but you know. And last one, and there we go. That's a really bad house, but we could save that. X, open it back up, Lord, and there we go. Or we could, if we could do, we could do a clear button, but that will that would be a bit more work, and I could. Well, actually, yeah, let's do a clear button. So, okay, so we've got our file here. So let's just actually highlight over. Actually, just one last thing. This here, this OV1 file, this is what it's saved into. So if I deleted that. And then go back into the application and try load. It'll say an error has occurred while reading the file. That's because there's no file there. So let's just quick create a click a quick clear button. So we're just going to clone this object. And I'm not going to do text on it because I that I just don't need to see that. You know what it means. So active five is our clear button. So we're going to do when user clicks on active five we're going to destroy all active fours so put a destroy under active four so file build application okay yes there we go don't, don't do that and now we've got this so this is our new file so if we create a bunch of these like this and we'll just spread them around put one down here one over here so if you remember that and we click save, X that, bring that down, this is the file again, yeah. Um now if we go into it we can load it or we can clear it and then save it like that and then when we load load it there's nothing in the file. So that's was a basic tutorial on saving and loading guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it helps you out with whatever you're doing, whenever you're creating a game or something. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, like, comment and subscribe. Bye.